after the 2011 G20, uh, the food security debate seemed to have lost momentum. Is it still needed a, a major coordination, a greater coordination of global food policies? So over the past uh, five or six years, there's been a major shift in our understanding of what needed to be done for global food security to be improved. Um, in the past, uh, we believed that um, global food security could be achieved by boosting production, by encouraging trade and uh, the specialization of the most efficient regions in producing some foodstuffs and, and trade and aid um, to provide food to populations in need. That has changed and since 2008-2009 we have discovered that the, the key to sustainable food security would be um, to have all regions produce for themselves and to reinvest in agriculture even um, for those uh, who are perhaps less efficient producers who would not be able to withstand uh, the shock of uh, foreign competition. Uh, however, this agenda, this new agenda of global food security that requires that we reinvest in the ability for countries to feed themselves has not been matched by a corresponding shift in trade policies and aid policies. And we need to align better these agendas with one another. We need more coherence in how we approach food security in um, uh, the world and, and, and across different sectoral policies. And in particular, I think the the Committee on World Food Security, an intergovernmental committee of the FAO, where these issues are discussed in a participatory and inclusive manner, um, should be able to make recommendations on this issue and should be able to address in these recommendations all areas that affect food security, including trade, including food aid, and that uh, trade should not be left apart from um, food security um, discussions. And unfortunately, this is still a very fragmented system in which trade discussions take place outside food security discussions and we need to reconcile them much better. In fact, I, I see the Bali Missile Conference of the WTO where the um, National Food Security Act um, of India was challenged because India was giving a minimum support price to its farmers that was considered to be um, a, a too high level of subsidies benefiting them. I see the Bali Missile Conference of the WTO as um, exhibiting very clearly this mismatch between trade agenda and, and the, the food security agenda. And we need now to reconcile the two and to achieve much greater coherence in the global food security policies.